woke up uh, about 3 a.m. Now I know when I woke up. I woke up at 3 a.m. Yeah, uh, I started a live stream, the one you happen to be on. And then people started coming in. And eventually, I think Didi was good. first. Didi stalked me, but it's okay. People slowly, slowly started coming in. So eventually, Tonkin got here. And of course, the guys aren't the Raz Tonkin. I consider it Razzin. I'm old, that's the term we use. Nowadays, it's called um, trolling. Harassing. Back, then, back then, it's not harassing, it's called trolling. When they're razzing, um, there's a difference between harassing and razzing. Okay, and. Uh, I'm old, you don't got to sugarcoat shit with me, okay? Okay, I'm speaking, please. So, pretty gross way I said, um, so when then, we came in, remember I said in the I first thing, thing was GD or about the numbers, and then the Tonka, Rojimbi, and GD were lovers. having fun. Most of them was. Um, yes, exactly. Do you have kids? So the rumors start here. Then, You're a liar talking about an email. And, and by then, we have Tonkin. We have a bunch of other guys that are all goofing around. Tonkin is giving it back some, taking some. Tonkin is giving it back some. And See, so these kids making rumors on the bullshit. Dude, fucking Tonkin was on a date last week with a good looking page. I don't know if it's because Pandora Fox said that. On Salty he's Street. He's losing the battle. He was giving it. He was giving it. No, it was Sammy Linlis, right? Who, Tonkin was? Yes. Tonkin oh, was fuck giving it. That's awesome. He, he, he has pushed out on so many fucking battles. <laughs> Are you listening? Then he slowly started losing the battle. So then he turned the tide and he said, Jimmy and GD were a couple. Now remember, I started my stream at three. Then he turned the tides and he said, Jimmy and GD were a couple. Well, then Jimmy and Dee Dee no longer were talking. So it was quiet. Then he said something else. Then it got quiet again. So then Tonkin said, maybe they were out getting a room. Well, you know what? I was never, I was never, I was never on your channel for any part of that. But Tonkin, I would love to have heard. I would love to have heard. I thought you wanted to uh, squash the room. I thought you wanted to squash the rumor. Yeah, dude. Okay, instead yeah, of being a fucking turd, I come on, dude. Live when Tom Don't to me shut the booze, dude. Yeah, I bet you want to squash your rumor. Yeah, yeah, come on. I, I, homosexual. But all you want to do is let me know you run your mouth, dude. Come on. You want to just damn talking? Damn, how much you fucking drink, man? Yeah, I would love to squash that room. I would love to be sad out of your beer can. I have to stop right here and not go any Must further. That Budweiser, and huh? Panel, which 24 pack gone started. already? Shit. But I would love to have been here when Tonkin actually stood up to Jimmy and GD. I would have loved to have been here when that fucking happened. And if that's on this panel, please don't privatize it because I want to go back and watch that. Because Tonkin has always been like a fucking marshmallow. <laughs> he has been a fucking marshmallow for so fucking oh my long. God. See, you only want to see it when it benefits your buddy. <laughs> it's no. I'm saying I, I want that rumor to be squashed, but I also want to see Tonkin stand up for himself. That'd be fucking amazing. But wait a minute. That rumor being squashed is the first and foremost priority. And you don't squash a rumor <laughs> by ignoring it. If you don't address it, it does not go away. Guarantee okay. it does not go away. Jesus it's like your taxes. Be bed by now. Jesus. But it's like your taxes. If you don't pay them, they don't go away. If you but ignore I got them, a question. they don't go away. I got a question. Well, I'm sure Talking you do. Talking didn't, like didn't make this accusation. Not a Till I would say 4.35 o'clock. How did you get an email at 1? Well, let's see. It's, it's only like 5 o'clock my time. I have been on YouTube for shit, like close to four hours now. So 
that you got an email, let's say, that would have been instantaneously. Someone jumped on. So I'm Ohio time. I'll give you that. You're three hours behind. Duncan opened his mouth and instantaneously, of all people, someone jumped on and said, email DFK, but start a rumor that Deeding and Jimmy are lovers. <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> oh my I can't even guarantee it was God. It's very likely. I can't guarantee it wasn't for it. I can't guarantee it wasn't for it. You know why? Because yeah, my hu- no, 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 no. I can't even guarantee it was past four. You know why? And I can't guarantee what time it was. I checked my ex in the morning. I cannot my guarantee. My husband's alone. I'm not a podcaster. On my days off, I don't watch my podcast. Okay. Someone well, got on the email and said instantaneously, someone tell the impact there's a rumor. And what time I'm going to door talking to the Those are the only two times a day on. that I am totally fucking aware of because I have an alarm clock set to wake me up for one of them and I have the, the job that I fucking just want to get my ass out of as quick as I possibly can to watch the other one. And those are the only two times a day that I fucking watch. Any, anything short of uh, 1.30. You're the most popular guy in this box. This type of rumor, they said, call DFK. 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 They didn't say call. Well, I can't get it to where they didn't. Andrew was on earlier. Ted was on the other day. They didn't say call Sheba. I don't watch Sheba. I, I can make no guarantees they didn't. They didn't that say do good. any of this. They said, somebody, we got a good rumor called DFK. I can't uh, guarantee they didn't do any of those other ones. I can't uh, guarantee uh, that. They, those would have been better uh, choices. Absolutely, they would have. But if I you can't put guarantee that, that in your I'm just saying. I'm just saying what I got. If you put that in your trash, it's gonna be there. I want to see your email trash. Other than that, there are 20, 18 people in here who are calling you a liar. Okay, then I'll be the liar, I guess. Especially if pretty swag the girl. Chat, she's screaming the loudest that you're a liar. liar. Okay, I've been called worse in my life. Guaranteed, I have. And to stop a rumor, you do exactly what I did to you at that point. You started opening your mouth. As soon as you put Jimmy and GD in the same sentence, I knew what you were going to do, and I cut you off and I put you in the basement. Yeah, and it was the rumor. That, it was the rumor that was being spread towards me, and I addressed it because I it saw. It was no rumor that. spread towards you. You was listening as a lurker, and you just you was so damn drunk. You were so fucking confused. You got up here. Okay, get that, off the that's fucking where, alcohol. That's where get off the fucking Yeah, see, that's, 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 that's the problem with you, DMK. Every, every time you start on. drinking, you get drunk. Your you start fucking you get these get ideas. You know, oh, it's only been so sad. I mean, how many Your times have you done? Bad bad you fucking done bullshit on fucking drama, though. You done bullshit on fucking Polly. You done bullshit on Sheba. You done bullshit on Sheba. You done on Man, Pam. And here you are doing it on fucking Cindy. You Back, I remember that, that he happened. has done the bullshit on fucking cold night. How I heard it, I saw Jimmy and GD both in your chat, and that's where it happened. And I did not start off here. I was over in uh, fucking Ross Collins at the beginning, and then I had my own panel. Total scope of the events that happened tonight. Don't remember timelines. Sorry. Time does not matter. <laughs> Other than my time to wake up to go Well, DMK, you can't drink that. Uh, you, you don't know how to keep track of time when you've been drinking, dumbass. I don't give a fuck about time. Of course not. When you've been but fucking drinking, you're drunk like a goddamn awesome. ass, motherfucker. And then Pug, Pug Face Media got up there. Fucking awesome. Oh, my God. If you ain't some Pug Media, fucking Shut fuck up. It. Guess what? You passed your two minutes. Yeah, you're done. I yeah. told you, you had two minutes to be up here, and then you have two minutes to exit. And you have two minutes to exit my room. Now. Okay, well, I was up here for way longer than two minutes. Yeah. And I appreciate that, Cindy, but obviously you don't want to put this behind us. Shut the fuck up! There's nothing to put behind you. Hey, DFK. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! Try that for one. What's that? What's, what should DFK do? Shut the fuck up, you cunt! 
I think that's good enough. Good. Motherfuckers off the panel. Get it. Oh, you're right, with Grand Blue Eyes. He said, "Is he the type that just can't be wrong?" Fuck it, dude. That's the thing about DFK. Especially when he's been, especially when he gets drinking, gets a little looking courage. Man, he always gotta be right. He says, "No, I'm right. You're wrong." Right. Right. Shut you. the fuck up. Go to bed, you drunk fucker. I mean, what is DFK's greatest moment? Giving Shelly that car. That's about the only thing great achievement I can think of. At least he's a little better than what fucking Paige B. Only thing greatest for achievement that she ever done was. Really knowing that well, so yeah, don't great. She was uh, bringing days. Andrew over to Vegas by putting and spraying her legs on when Andrew fucked her. <laughs> you hundred percent say it every time. Let me put it this way: every time I talk to him, he's drunk. So. He's I, always I've never drunk. Had a conversation with him. There's hardly ever time that fucking fool ain't and drunk. I don't think you get to know. Holy shit! Until you speak to somebody when they're sober. Okay, I'll look. Um, and please understand, um, I wasn't being mean because I have a relative, um, I have a relative who is a drunk and I kind of, they have to always be right. Fuck yeah. So, my, my, this not my first Dude, family. I live with a, I live fucking, I said, I had a family member that was call, fucking, we, we always he just, always had to be right. Yeah, yeah, my stepdad. Well, Dude, he'd be drinking, road, he always, yeah, always had to be right. He was wrong, but he always wanted to raise an uh, argument. Uh, Every few times, like, he, he, like he would get physical. Going round and round he got a little liquor church, and he thought he was always right. He thought he was always smart. Well. Most of the time he was wrong. Marvelous. And there were a lot of shit was stupid as fuck on. Marvelous. I'm like, holy shit. I'm cleaning house. That's not real marvelous. Somebody tell me you're doing something marvelous. Somebody come up with something wonderful to tell me. Sam, what are you doing today? This you're going on a nice motorcycle ride. Somebody tell me the getting a new bed. They're doing something great. <laughs> Most of the time, when, when you're talking to a drunk person, this is where the half of, this is what comes out of mouth half the time. Fuck you say to me, you little shit! Getting new kitchen cabinet. Cool. That sounds good. Ah, uh, shut up, DFK. You don't go and book it backwards once you come out of drugs. Or is that a sock account? <laughs> I think it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> um, you get hair color? I'm cool. take the two cabinet doors. This, there's the sink, and the two cabinet doors below the sink, I'm going to take them off. And, um, I want to... No, I'm going to wrap it up here and um, sleep. And curtain where the cabinet used to be, where the doors used to be. I want to hang curtains there. I've seen it and it looks nice. I want to do it. I got ulterior motives. One, um, my granddaughter hates to open that door. She swears it's too hard to pull. I kept telling her to pull it anyway because she was tough. <laughs> then I got this new cat who apparently likes to lay under a cabinet um, by the, and she likes to lay by the pipes. So I thought, well, I... Careful things fall out easier. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here. <laughs> Mike, job, peace out. And like, remember, baby, pimping that shit since 1999.